Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our slash entitled parents. In today's episode. My, soon, divorced dad feels entitled to hearing about me through mom. My entitled mother-in-law. My mom doesn't believe me when I feel sick because of certain foods. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. My, soon, divorced dad feels entitled to hearing about me through mom. I am in my early 20s and my parents are getting divorced. I live in a city about two hours driving from them, and I see them every couple months. My dad never really called me when I moved away for school, we maybe talked every one to two weeks and sometimes would text. When we do slash did talk it was about his life, never really any interest in mine. Now that my parents are divorcing, he hears even less about my life because he doesn't hear it through my mom anymore, who I'm much closer with. He answers the call with things like hey, stranger, or haven't heard from you in a while, and it really annoys me. I told him I was making an impromptu visit home this upcoming weekend and he said, well your mother didn't tell me that. When we do talk, he doesn't care about my life and just wants to talk about his own. For some reason, he still feels entitled to knowing about my life through my mom instead of making a genuine connection with me. He thinks he'll keep free emotional labor in the divorce. Your mother didn't tell me. The only reply to that is, why would she? You're not married anymore. If you want to know something, ask me. Tell him he needs to buy a phone that will allow him to call you. Apparently his only works one way. My entitled mother-in-law. My ex-mother-in-law was entitled in whole other level. She had that weird habit trying to control her children in everything. There is so many weird stories about her so here is one. Me and my wife decided to buy house, but my mother-in-law want to involve herself into this badly. Mother-in-law demanded that she will write ownership papers for our house for us. Since she has history of doing shady shit me declined. My wife was scared that her mother would write some kind of ownership to herself. Her mother had nothing to do with buying that house, no money invested or anything. She was upset we were moving far away from their house. We used to live on next street from them which caused lots of trouble, but those are tales for another day. So we wrote ownership contract for bank and I called there. When I asked when can I deliver papers bank. Woman in other end sound confused informing me they already got out papers and are processing them as we speak. I told her that was impossible cause I just finished writing those papers. She told my mother-in-law brought papers to bank day before. My heart skipped a beat and I demanded them to stop processing right now. I told my wife and she went red from anger. My next question was how in hell did your bank let someone with different name, since my wife took my name in marriage, to write our ownership contract. That is piece of paper which allow you to determine at who owns that house. Bank worker was in shock when she realized what kind of mistake they had done. In the end everything worked out, they fixed their mess up and we got our house. And my mother-in-law never admit she did anything wrong, we were just ungrateful on her opinion. She just earned herself an all-expense paid trip to no contact bill. You both would be crazy if you ever spoke to this shady grifter again. Your JNMAL crossed a boundary that should never be crossed. Can we say, fraud? Y'all need to go no contact with her. What's funny is how entitled parents behave like this but when cut off or sent to no contact bill. They seem confused or ask why. I don't know why you all don't just cut her out of your lives and stop telling her shit about your lives. You and your wife understand the ones to blame for this is yourselves. She wouldn't have been able to go to the bank and do these ownership papers if you all didn't tell her you were buying a house and didn't tell her what bank you would be going through. You sit here and say that she is entitled but who enables it? People telling her about their plans in detail. Stop talking to her. Stop telling her your business and tell your wife she needs to stop as well. My mom doesn't believe me when I feel sick because of certain foods. Buckle up folks. 
So, you've probably read the title and I'm sure this is something that lots of people here can relate to, but I'm posting anyway just to make sure I'm not in the wrong here. Is it okay for parents to feed their children food that gives them nausea? I've always wondered if that was the case, because I am quite the picky eater as some would say. I've always hated that term. The reason being that people immediately will think you're being a brat, fussy or childish. My mom thinks the same way and doesn't believe that when I say I don't quite enjoy something it's not because it's just not my favorite dish. It's because I feel physically ill and get nausea once eating it. She doesn't understand when I tell her this and she takes it as a personal insult, whenever I ask her if I can please just skip dinner this one time, so I don't have to feel sick for the rest of the evening and so that I don't waste the food. She always forces me to eat food that makes me sick. And yeah funnily enough it makes me sick. And boom she gets mad at me and blames me for being a dramatic liar. Why in the hell would I pretend to not like certain foods? People give you shit constantly for being a picky eater why would I willingly want that for myself? I don't make a big deal out of it or anything. I don't ask people to eat differently or scoff at other people's food so why is it okay the other way around? The reason why I'm ranting here now is because I just finished dinner and I'm feeling. Guess what? I fell like shit again. Is there something I can do for her to understand? I feel like I've tried every method under the sun. It's frustrating and I'm tired of feeling nausea almost every day. I had the same issue with certain foods whilst growing up, especially Italian slash Greek slash Mediterranean, which often caused extreme nausea and or projectile vomiting. Found out as an adult I have an extreme sensitivity to oregano. A friend of mine was the same way, and was constantly getting crap from her family and partners. Turns out she's allergic to garlic. I was 30 before someone finally confirmed what I figured out at age 6, I'm allergic to strawberries. I just stopped eating them because they always made me sick, hard to breathe and stomach issues. My mom always ranted that nobody in our family was allergic to strawberries. Turns out one of her sisters and her mom, my grandma, are also allergic to strawberries. Some things you know don't work out for you. You do what you got to do to stay well. My sister would not eat peas. My mom thought if she mixed them in pureed she would never know. That night at the dinner table my sister started projectile vomiting everywhere. They believed her after that. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.